Keep on trucking studios. I'm Trucker Jim, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the good, the bad, and even some of the ugly parts of truck driving. In 2020, there's never been more trucking jobs available than there is today. Here's the good news in less than 30 days, you can get your permit, you can learn what you need to to do a pre trip, which is part of the CDL test, and you can learn how to drive a big rig, the basics of backing, at least good enough to pass the CDL test. This can be done in less than 30 days. The bad news you're not going to know everything you need to know once you put that CDL in your pocket. Hence, most people go through some type of training program when they begin their career at whatever company they choose. Here's the bad news. Since you're a truck driver holding a commercial driver's license, you are held to a higher standard than normal drivers. This not only includes messing up such as accidents or, or tickets, but also health-wise. Diabetes, heart problems, there is a slew of things that can turn ugly. And if it gets ugly enough where you lose your CDL, well, you're not a truck driver anymore. But they call us truck drivers because, well, we get to drive trucks. And that's definitely a good thing. There are some awesome trucks on the road, the Long Nose Pete, the W9s. But most of us, when we start with, you know, your bigger companies, Eh, you're probably not going to get one of those. You're going to get some kind of fleet truck, a Cascadia, maybe an International LT, KW T680s, which those are still cool, a lot of fun to drive. There's just a lot of plastic in them generally. Whether this is good or bad, I guess it depends on who you ask, but in the past, all trucks were manual, 10-speed, 13-speed, 18-speed. Well, today, most of the trucks, especially with your mega carriers, they're automatic. Driving trucks is fun, but you've got a lot to learn. There's more to it than just taking it down the interstate. There's making right-hand turns and left-hand turns, keeping an eye on the trailer, understanding where your tandems are because that's going to affect the way the truck turns. And then there's backing up. That's another video all to itself. Now, a good thing about having a CDL and knowing how to drive a truck is you shouldn't have trouble finding a job because there's thousands of trucking companies hiring right now. When it comes to getting a job as a truck driver, the hard part is not finding one. Everyone's hiring. Almost all trucking companies are always hiring. Because of that, when truckers feel they're not treated properly, or they aren't making the type of money for the time they're investing, well, <laughs> there's always somewhere else to look. And you can do that, well, so many times, then you're gonna look like a job hopper and companies aren't gonna wanna hire you. So be careful of your job hopping and do your best to make decisions you can stick with for a while so everything can run its course. You can figure out the lanes, figure out how to maximize your pay plan and your time off. Here's the ugly on it though. If you do make a series of mistakes, or oftentimes one bad mistake, such as a rollover or failing a drug test, or speeding 15 miles an hour over the speed limit, those type of things can make you unhirable. Best case scenario, you're only gonna have to do a DOT physical every other year. If you've got some medical issues, you may have to do it once a year. I've even talked to guys that had to do it every 30 days. Now for a single person that's down on their luck, that's living at their parents, truck driving is definitely something you may want to take a look at because you can change your situation in a relatively short period of time. Because living on the truck, well, you don't have a power bill, a water bill. There's a, there's a lot less expenses, which that is a good thing. Being out on the road, the truck driving lifestyle, there's definitely some good things to it. The adventure of it all, being out on the open road, going into different states you've never been to, cool stuff. And having the ability to make over $1,000 a week. If your expenses are low, you can probably save a lot of that. And drivers, because we're human, 
are going to develop some habits. Just the way they do things out on the road. One of the biggest bad things that can develop having the truck driving lifestyle is your eating habits. For many truckers, they suffer in these areas because the diet consists of whatever's available at the truck stop that they're at. Oftentimes it's going to be McDonald's, Wendy's, Subway. Most of these fast foods come with a drink, but a diet that consists of fast food, biscuits, honey buns, it's going to take its toll over time. Especially simultaneous as having a crappy diet, virtually no exercise other than walking into the truck stop and walking into the shipper. Now, it doesn't have to be this way, truck drivers. You can always go for a walk, go for a run. You can keep weights on the truck, the stretchy bands. If you park, hop back in the sleeper and start watching YouTube, it is not uncommon for truckers to gain weight as a truck driver and get the big trucker gut. But I'm telling you, it doesn't have to be that way. What myself and many other drivers have done to be able to maintain a healthy weight is do the keto diet, which is high fat, moderate protein, and low carb. That will help keep your body to a, a more ideal body weight versus the big trucker gut. Many people have trouble maintaining relationships back at home when they're out on the road. But if these are relationships that are important to you, you've got to incorporate that into your habit and at least stay in touch with them a few times a week. Nowadays with FaceTime and other apps to do video chat, well, they make it better than our four truckers. But that's just a little bit of the good, the bad, the ugly of truck driving, you know, as far as having a CDL, getting a job as a truck driver, and living the truck driving lifestyle. Would love to hear your comments on anything below. If you got requests for future video, just let us know about that in the comments too. But I'll see all of you in the next video. But until then, be safe out there and keep on trucking. Everybody going through a little something, something. Sing a little song with a guitar strum And smile on your brother, hey the good Lord's coming Keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on trucking One last thing, if you're a truck driver and you're not happy with where you're currently at Whether it's the way you treat it, the money you make Well, we've got regional positions and home everyday local driving positions, but it's NFI and GMP Trucking. I'll have a link to the website where you can apply below. Please just mention Trucker Jim to your recruiter. See you in the next video.